Okay guys, this was a, a pleasant surprise. If you look behind me, this is Abel Brown uh, Clothing. And this is one of those places I saw online. I, I was actually checking out a pair of their gloves. And we just happened to stop and wanted to do some shopping here in Colorado. And bam, here it is. And I, and I asked Paul, who's in here, he's gonna talk to us, uh, if this was a new store. Cause I, I thought everything they had was online. He goes, yeah, they just opened it two months ago. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay guys, so we are here with Paul. Paul, thanks for doing this. How's it going, man? Nice. Uh, with the common sense camper. So one of the things was the gloves and then this Nomad tent, which I thought was awesome. This is our Nomad 2 tent. So it looks like that one right on the picture there. I'm gonna so go over here. More beige. So yeah, now we offer the beige colorway. And now the Gen 2, it actually offers a rain fly, which covers your gas tank and your seat area with another little rectangle of mosquito netting right there for better airflow. You got That's mosquito nice. netting on the front and the back. Good one person tent, um, but not cramped at all because you can right. take off both your saddlebags from it, all your gear. Yeah. It all packs down to this super small package, which uh, will fit in a saddlebag just okay. And uh, we'll come with hand ground brass tent pegs. Nice. And a kickstand plate. Love Real it. solid stuff. That is awesome to see that. Oh, yeah, that's the real deal, guys. I actually, I actually just took mine out, and uh, my stall plate, the other one, cracked. And so I just luckily had ours with us. Held up real good. Uh, nice. Completely soft stuff. And I like that tent, guys. If you look at this tent, uh, that is really lightweight. Uh, what's the material? Is it some uh, 400, 600 denier? Or what do you know? 50 what? nylon or stuff. Yep. Okay, and nice, then, uh, nice. I'm not sure on the heat treat on it, though, but I turned my bike got off, got it straight up to it, and the Canyon Scout I have gets real hot. Couldn't feel heat to it at all. Really, that's so, nice. Well insulated and good airflow at the same time. That that is worth the trip here, guys. I, I'm telling you, go to their website or you can order it online. I, yep. I assume ship all over the <laughs> all over the world. Yep. Yeah, so that's awesome. They got some great stuff in here. Something else you might like. Yeah, let's this check this is out. Our home state camp chair. We partner with A Light, a camping company out of San Francisco, California. Uh, that's what they do is make high quality camp chairs and whatnot. We just put our own personal touch with the wax cotton, the brass poles on it. The whole thing folds up nice and easy. Get that down there. And then just like a tent, all your poles and everything fold up. Yeah, so it's got the shock cord in there. Yeah. And the whole thing folds down to a pretty similarly sized package. Nice. That'll all fit in the saddlebag. Comes with uh, little loops for you to hang off stuff so you don't have to. Put your dirty socks in there yeah. while you're airing them out. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, super light as well. Yeah, that's a neat. And, I, and guys, I like this. You, very seldom do you see this wax canvas finish. Uh, and I, I can speak somewhat intelligently on wax canvas because I've had canvas that I've wax, waxed myself. And it's not an easy process. So I can only imagine in a production type assembly where that is a, actually an added step to that. That process, but it's well worth it because it's very easy to clean. Uh, it's somewhat water resistant. I mean, waterproof. That's how they yeah, use it. waterproof. Yes, yep. And then sitting in it is just as easy. Just layer down. Can't fire like that. That's nice. Yeah, and, and it's and it's the beauty of it, it's very lightweight and it's just enough to have a chair. I mean when you're boondock camping off of a motorcycle, believe me, a chair can make the difference between a great ride and a bad ride. So I've actually seen this glove on your on your website. That, yeah. That's where I first saw that. So this is our raceway glove. What we noticed in the American market was A, clothes were very plain. Yeah. It's like uh, just a piece of hand-shaped leather. So we had the extra mile to make it very detail-oriented, add and incorporate some brass work in there, extra features like a pull tab, touchscreen compatible index finger, nice. venting all the way through the thumb and the hand. And then we had a knuckle protection because in American cruiser gloves, you can hardly find knuckle protection. You have to go That's for true. a sport bike or a dirt bike thing. On top of that, we realized on a lot of the carbon fiber knuckle gloves, when you make a fist, it'll cut off the circulation to your fingers. And then when you want to open it again, the carbon fiber stops you from opening your hand all the way. Yes. So what we did is we untethered the back and then doubled down on the front and side protection. So now your knuckle floats off the glove, giving you completely unrestricted access to grip the bar and when you want to open up your hand all the way the whole thing kind of shifts back across your hand so very comfortable full range of motion and that's the one thing i noticed about that glove that's the first time i've seen that where it's kind of 
it's it's integrated but it's kind of separate yeah then again on the details this is our x2 you've got a zipper gauntlet brass snap wrist area more added knuckle protection double finger protection back of the hand and then just the whole quality and attention to detail yeah, that is that is a sharp looking glove and that that's your your vintage bobber cafe style yeah. Got a little, little Euro look to it, yeah, so it's, it's really right. neat. Very We've got neat. literally everything. We've also got a collaboration with Speed Merchant out of San Jose, California. A um, bit more sport bike oriented, but still our style. Full leather construction, Italian cowhide, touchscreen finger still. Instead of brass, whatnot, we have Velcro for easy on off. Nice. Got a little high vis on it. Yeah. That's good. That's good for hand signaling. Exactly. <laughs> Have you guys one of those guys that can't be bothered to use your blinkers? You got your left turn signal. Right, right exactly. Just turn your hand around and say, slow down. You also have our full gauntlet Junos in case any of you ride in the fall or winter. So you got a full gauntlet, uh, fingers all the way through, just solid construction, pretty thick. Uh, visor wiping thumb. I like it. And then, so everything's 100% sheep wool, including the Sherpa line top. That's which nice. Is just soft. Oh, Amazing wow. and warm, <laughs> wonderful gloves. That's awesome. I have a pair of those because I tried to cross a Vail Pass during spring break 2016, which ended up being the worst blizzard of the year. Oh, uh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, guys, I'm not a Batman glove. That's what I call these. <laughs> but that I would wear. That Batman glove I would definitely wear. So a lot of great stuff in here. The tents, the gloves, the chairs, just all kinds of stuff. Any, if you're into vintage, you know, old school, well-made motorcycle clothing this this is definitely uh, a place you got to check it out you got to check this place out paul thank you very much hey, thanks for coming in i appreciate, appreciate it. it this is jeff with the common sense camper camping out All right, guys so that's a a wrap paul thank you very much hey, why don't you go ahead and give him your website again www.ablebrown.com there you go guys ablebrown.com or if you're in Colorado, what's the shop? What's the shopping center here called? Uh, this will be Old Town Square in Fort Collins, Colorado. All right. We're right next to Ben and Jerry's. Very nice. And by the way, one thing that's really cool here, and uh, I probably don't, I don't see one here in focus, but they have pianos all over town. And they're just, like anyone can get on them and play them. And they also have like a, a free library. They're little boxes. They look like birdhouses. And people just put their books in put a book in they take one out it's kind of like a free library yeah so really neat cool shop if you're if you're in the area check out the shop if not go to the website